What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Doing 2019 Topps Heritage High Number Baseball 12 box case break. Pick your team's number two. So we did have one or actually a couple team randoms for pick your team number two. So if your name in this list right here has a little character sign, that means you want it in a team random. So there you go. So good luck to everybody in this break. PYT number two, and here is the case. We have one more case in stock available. Heritage High Number Pick Your Team number three on our website. So here we go. So this is gonna be a pretty long break, guys, and I know there's a lot of different crazy short prints and stuff like that. Uh, so in case I do miss any, uh, I know Nick and the sorting shipping team will double check before we send out tomorrow. Uh, before we get sorted out and sent out later this week on Tuesday, I believe. So, no need to worry, guys. But if you guys are in the chat and watching and are curious to say, Hey, you know what? I think you missed something. Well, let me know. Because I know there's a lot of different short prints in here. But yeah. There you go. Bringing back the 1970 Tops design. Anniversary one original from Alright guys, here's the first box. Good luck. Again, if I do miss anything and you're watching, let me know. But if not, our shipping and team and Nick will sort out. Make sure we get everything pulled. I don't even know what I'm looking for in here besides the short prints. A little chrome, Alex Verdugo. What's this say? One real autograph or relic in every box. Sorry. The 
action short print maybe? Patrick Corbin for the Nationals. I think that's a real autograph. It looks real. There you go. Washington Nationals. Chad. That is last Bob Mojo from a team random. and Yelich. This looks a little different. Marvin. Marvin Gonzalez. Sensel. All right, next one. Scratch off play. Oh, see the back of the card for the instructions. It's pretty cool. Salvador Perez, Kansas City. I don't know if these are action short prints, but I feel like they're a little different from normal. So I'll keep them to the side. And then here's this 70th anniversary. Oh, that's a nice one. And then we got Rick Morales for the White Sox. Noted by the... Oh, yeah. Isn't it numbered? Uh, let's see. Hold on. Seven hundred through seven twenty five are going to be sharp prints as well. Oh, it doesn't say that. Thank you, Josh. All right, so there you go. I was right. There's action. This one doesn't say action. And this one doesn't say action. So just the Keystone is actually an action. Thank you, Josh. I knew this one was a little action, but I figured these ones, maybe they weren't, but there you go. And it says base short prints are anything from 701 to 725. 
But again, just to make the brig go by a little quicker, I'll just leave those there. And again, our shipping team will double check all of these cards as well. So if we have any of those, we'll put them to the side. So this Ichiro right here is a sharp print as well. But yeah, we'll take a look at those at the end of the break and then we'll separate those short prints and if we see any notable ones as well. All right, next box. Chad B, what's going on? Then the first break with you tonight, you hit me the first auto. I know, Chad, I've been pretty good to you lately, right? So I know Joe was having a lot of help with Nick through these breaks. I think he's only done one or two of these, right? So, but here, I'm flying solo, which I don't mind. Just letting you guys know it's going to take a little bit of time before we finish this break. So, I'm expecting this break to be about an hour. An hour and 15, maybe 20 minutes. By the time I get done with it, it should be done around 6. It should give us still about 4 hours of breaking. I do have to do a couple eBay breaks tonight, as always, on Sundays and Mondays. They are all under 10 minutes each, so I should be done within the next 30, 40 minutes of those. And then um, back to some website for the last, like, two hours of the night. So let's get it rolling. You mean Bowman Sterling, champ, right? Not Prestige Bowman? That is down to two left, I believe. Reds and Yankees. So anybody, uh, anybody watch the, uh, the fights yesterday, the UFC fights. Here, that was an Anaheim. All right. Next box. Fernando Tatis Jr. MC Hammers Scratch offs Jose Abreu
another Ichiro. That's a short print as well. Bob Gibson for the Cardinals. It also says cards. There you go. Cardinals. That's Michael. It's pretty awesome. Very nice. Was it really the same first two as well, Josh? Damn. Or the same ones in the case, you mean? It's crazy. And we got Pete Alonzo killing it right now, guys. Out of 999. Peter Morgan Alonzo. Mets. Richard Zitterman. Joey, nice man. Good luck. A little bit later. Robert Andrew Vale for the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, Xbox. Oh, look at that. One box loader card inside. Oh, nice. The Vikings and I were playing on Fox today. Right, we got some Sunday, Sunday night football today.
All right, next box. Scratch off Miguel Cabrera. Next one. And a relic. Brandon Bell for the Giants. Danny Hayes, Team Random Mojo. Club Collection. stock There is an action short print. Austin Meadows for the Rays. Jordan. Blue Jays. And Yasmani Grandal for the Brewers. Alright, next box. Actually, I forgot these box loader toppers, but I'll open both of them right now, actually. Let's so actually open one up from the last break. We got uh Willie Mays Giants and then the fiftieth anniversary and we got Diego Cinque or Seguin. This is for the pilots. I have no idea who the pilots are. I'll have to look that up and see who that goes to.
We'll take a look at this at the end of the break. Let's kind of keep going. But whoever the pilots were affiliated with, it'll go to that team. If not, we'll randomize that to the group. If no affiliation. Totally jacked up a corner. What do you mean, Tim? Damn, you say the Pirates, uh, Pilots became the Brewers in 1970? Okay. Then that should be going to Milwaukee then. Going to Jeffrey Goldberg. So I'll double check, but thanks, man. I appreciate it. Nicky Lopez. And for the Rays. There you go, autograph. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays, that'll be Jordan. Here's an action for the Dodgers. Oh, the pilot's card. Oh, well, I'm sorry about that, man. Is that yours? I mean, I wish I didn't have to put it in these penny sleeves. You know how they make those, um, you know how they make those other vintage card loaders? You know, the ones that are more plasticky. But I had to try my best not to mess it up, but sorry about that. If that is yours, I can see if I can help with a replacement or something. But yeah, the packs are, the packs are kind of tough to rip open as well. Especially when it's only, I got this one thing I've never liked. I've never liked it that a pack, there's only one card in a pack because it's so easy to bend the pack when you're opening it, you know what I mean? So it does make it a little tougher, but at the same time, you know, these cards are very fragile. <laughs> so, I mean, there'll be times where I kind of ding a corner here and there, but I'll, I'll, I'll be more careful, you know, to not mess up any more of these. But that's my fault. I'll take responsibility for that. But I wish we did have those um, those other top loaders that they like to use for vintage cards. It'd be so much easier to put put them in those. <laughs> Double trouble. <laughs> Oh yeah, guys, I mean, I am i don't know if I'm missing any of these colored variations and stuff like that. I mean, I've caught most of the other short prints, but like I said, uh, after this break, if I have time, I'll double check it. If not, the shipping team will double check and make sure that there aren't any other short prints that are uh, missed upon for this break. Not an 
action one. We got Eloy Jimenez. That's a very nice one. I hate that these are out of nine ninety nine, but still pretty nice, right? Oh well, Steve. I mean, I'm I'm a pretty honest guy. I'm not gonna lie in front of you guys and say I didn't ding it up. <laughs> the video will show it if I did. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. I mean, I always take responsibility if it's a mistake that's on my end. I always own up to it. But yeah, I mean, I like I said, these packs are a little tough to rip open. So, I mean, with my huge hands and stuff, I gotta try to be a little bit more careful. But except for the most part. Right, so I'm trying to go, trying to be nice though. Poor guy, it's not here. I know, right? Just leave me here by myself. <laughs> now I'm okay. Like to be honest, I, it's, it's always great to get help, rip up, ripping open bigger breaks, in a way. But I don't mind them. It's just that you guys are the ones that really have to suffer through this, not me. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really, it's really what it comes down to. Yeah, well, that's what I mean, Steve. I think they should put a blank, especially on those, like, older packs. Because it is... It, it, trust me, it's very tough because easily you're already bending the card. So if you're even trying to grade one of those cards, I mean, it's not going to grade very well. Next one. Let's open this one first. bit better and that's art shamsky see it's already ding right there i will say that that's not me but there you go match with that one True. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I honestly don't ever expect these to be mint. They're always going to be a little ding. Because they are buybacks. And if it was such a huge hit, you think they would ever put a really, really nice card not in a plastic or something, you know what I mean? That's the one thing. It's, uh... We're all going to have a little bit of a card issue in the corner there, too. Surface. Centering, something like that.
All right, next one. AJ Pollock. This one numbered. Or not. Maybe not numbered. It's a different type of color, though. Dodgers. Oh, is this is this a hot box or something? Tyler Glass now. Nathan Evaldi. Fernando Tatis Jr. That's very nice. George Alfaro or Jorge Richie Martin oh this is an action Christian Walker action AJ Happ Yankees. Keeson Huria. Nationals Victor Robles. Rockies, Brennan Rogers. Austin Meadows for the Rays. And a Yasio Puig. Yankees. Danny uh, Salazar. A little scratch off there for Jose Abreu. Braves. Verdugo. Chavez. Our last stack right here. So I'm assuming this was kind of a little bit of a hot box in a way. With all these like little chrome cards. I'm just putting them on penny sleeves because they're nice cards. Phillies, Andrew McCutcheon. Britain, the Yankees, and there's the relic, Trey Turner for the Nationals, or Washington Nationals. Manny Machado. Yeah, let's do some Sterling. It's down to two. We should be able to get that knocked out tonight. Tyler O'Neill. Black border. Mariners. Hunter Strickland. Sonny Gray. Bradley. Alright, I don't know what kind of box that was, but that was a little nice one right there. Next one, halfway through the break, guys, so I should be done within the next 30 minutes. 
about an hour and ten minute break. I do have four orders to go through. Not sure what they're for. But I would love to get that Sterling done tonight. Love to get that football mixer done tonight. I'd like to do the last three breaks to give away uh, $300 in break credit. If you guys want to do them. The basketball mixer, the football mixer, and the Fanatics jerseys. All right, let's do this uh, box loader card. Kikuchi. Be for the Mariners. All right. Action, short print of Troy Tulowitzki. Yankees. All right, AJ Anderson said he bought the Yankees. There you go, and Bowman Sterling. What's up, Frank? I know I read a lot of torture. <laughs> it's actually fun, man. I don't mind doing the long breaks. Just like I tell customers that if there's no help, like the way, you know, sometimes Joe gets with uh, Nick. Oh, very nice. 29 out of 70. Joey Votto and Johnny Bench, Clubhouse Collection. It's just a little torture more for you guys <laughs> to have to sit through an hour-long break. There you go. Cincinnati Reds with that one. That's Eric, EA. But I'm chilling, man. I'm not trying to rush through all the cards and you know miss anything. Although I might be missing some other short prints, but the shipping team will double check that I'm not. For the most part, man, I'm just I'm chilling, man. I love being a breaker, so I don't mind whatever I have to break. <laughs> Another action short print of Victor Robles. That's very nice. Far off from the Marlins. And Eric 
Cosmer for San Diego. Next box. Yeah, that's true, Frey. Does make the day go by a little faster. I know, because by the time I get done with this, I'm like, wow, it's already six o'clock. You know, I've been streaming here for about, you know, almost four hours. <laughs> and I do have a couple of eBay breaks to do tonight. Some gold pack eBay breaks. So that should be fun. Some of those baseball and football gold rush breaks as well. So I expected today to be a little busy. So after this, guys, we have more than enough time to do that Sterling before I have to do some eBay. And then probably after the Sterling, I might have to do some eBay. And once I'm done with eBay, that should leave us about two, minutes, two hours in the stream to maybe knock out that football mixer later tonight. And see if we can work on those $300 break credit breaks. Yeah, for sure. Although it does get draining, Frank. But like I said, I do love breaking. No matter what it is, so. So I think some breakers, you know, would rather only break the little breaks. You know, all the flawless type of breaks, which are fun. But sometimes it's fun to rip open them. Some bigger breaks too. Next box. Blackboard or Melky Cabrera? Man, I didn't realize Melky Cabrera was still around. Oh, do you? Okay. Ten plus hours a day, six a week, but love, love as long as. <laughs> I know, right? I, I actually think my wife, my wife's cousins, actually work at one of the, uh, one of the Amazon, um, centers in like I believe. I want to say, I don't know, somewhere out there, Fontana. I don't know where some of their centers are. And they're talking about, you know, sometimes it's pretty rough. Jose Barrios for the Twins.
I mean, I love Amazon, honestly. <laughs> Makes it so uh, action short print. Look at that. Ichiro. That's very nice. That'll go to the Mariners. I, I almost order something on Amazon like almost every other day. It's just literally something that's part of my life now. It's like me and my wife forget something or we haven't bought something in a little bit, but we don't kind of want to just go out and buy it. Or just like, oh, we just, just want you to just look on Amazon and go get it. Just deliver it to the house. It just makes you appreciate, though. You know, back in the day when shipping was so expensive and then it also took like two weeks to get here. <laughs> you know, five, six business days. Texas Rangers, Alvis, Honduras. Now you can just get it within two days, sometimes one day shipping. Spoiled. Revolving the 70s card as well. We have for the Mets, Joe Foy. Oh, really? Whoa, what is this? Oh, it's just it's a huge, it's like a huge poster? That's pretty cool. I kind of don't want to open it up, but... Piscotti, I'm assuming we're going to send that out to the Oakland Athletics. All the old-timers get shares of stocks here? Oh, really? So now they just start out at 15 hours. Wow. Live chat's not updating for you, AJ? Oh, sorry. I'm. Uh, you're probably like, are you wondering who am I talking to? So if you guys are just wondering who am I not talking to, or who am I talking to, Frank is on the YouTube, or the eBay YouTube stream. So you know that I had a break on Sundays and Mondays. I dual stream, so I have both chats open, so I kind of got to monitor both. So if that's what it is for you guys. If not, maybe just refresh. Frank's card corner, what's going on? I know number 40 to Pete Alonso, right? 
Killing it. So series, whatever you scroll for, 5,000 come up. First filter is all the way to the bottom. Select condition use says 50 come up. It will show the regular price. Click the price. Scroll down for the use price. And you bought 199 fans for 10 bucks. Really? Oh wow, something to look out for. Yeah, because I've always seen like used price and brand new and stuff like that. Thanks, man, for little tips. There's always good little deals on Amazon. I know for sure. I mean, most of the time, the stuff that I find on there is um, it's pretty cheap compared to where I buy it somewhere else. Scratch off, Aaron Judge. Yeah, the 1970s design is pretty nice. Eloy Jimenez, action, short print for the White Sox. Matt has to win that one. Bear, what's going on, man? We got a relic, Manny Machado for the Padres. Jamison Long with the Padres. <laughs> All good, Frank. I don't mind the rumbling. All right, see you later, Frank. Uh, I'm actually not sure, AJ. That's one thing I actually haven't looked into. Victor Robles to 569. Um, I'm actually on Cardboard Connection. Let's see what the best bo box price is, actually. Sterling is a very expensive box, though. I think, I think Sterling is a little bit over two hundred, probably. Yeah, I think Bowman Sterling is actually about like a two hundred and thirty dollar box. Actually, it's pretty pricey, actually. Looks like. Oh wait, no. Am I looking at the wrong one? Wait, sorry. No, wait. Yes. Yeah, it looks like a blowout, it's about a $250 box. $249.95. Same thing with Steel City and a lot of other uh, bigger uh, secondary market websites. What's up, Matt H?
All right, guys, four boxes to go. Should be done within the next 20 minutes. Matt, no, no, no Vlad yet. Variations or autos. I've, I've been trying to attract as many as I can. I've been catching the actions. I haven't been noticing the color or I think it's misspelled or any of the throwback jerseys. But um, I'm going to obviously at the end of the break, I'll look later and see if I find any. But no autographs yet. I know Nick and Joe, when they were doing this, Nick had a little help and was able to uh, help him out. <laughs> so I was like, I'm kind of doing this a little solo, which I don't mind breaking. It's just more Nick trying to find the short prints as I'm breaking, you know, would, would be a little nicer. But yeah, man, I'll, I'll check it out. I've been looking at every Vlad that passes. I'm like, all right, I noticed the color is the same. I don't see no misspells. I don't see no throwbacks. So... I'm assuming that one's not. But like I said, I, I never mind breaking products like this. It's just more... More you guys are suffering more than me. <laughs> you guys are like, ah, this break needs to be done already. Or can we skip to the recap already? But yeah, man. Almost done, so... You guys are just getting here. Last four boxes shouldn't be too brutal. Oh, does it say Vladito? That's cool. I haven't noticed that either yet, so. You can pull one of those. Yeah, he, uh, someone go buy the Reds, guys. AJ just took the Yankees not too long ago. So one left in Sterling. We can break that next. Uh, the only football break bear that we can do is a football mixer. It's also part of a $300 break credit giveaway if we fill up three breaks, and that is one of them. Again, I think it's kind of like last week's that you were here. It's a little pricey. But we do have early bird promos, and we also have uh, a one-on-one -on -one bounty action of Key Boom. So I believe we're going to give away $100 in break credit for any one-on-ones pulled. So let's say you got the Cowboys in the break, and I pull a one-on-one, -on -one, I don't know, Dak printing plate, Dak autograph, Dak base card, Dak relic, whatever it is. As long as it's a one-on-one, -on -one and it's a Cowboy, and you have the Cowboys, you're going to get $100 in break credit. And there's no limits. If we pull 10 one of ones for 10 different teams, how we're going to dish out $1,000 in break credit and 100 per. So it's actually a pretty cool and fun break to get into, I believe. It's just a little pricey, but it also has 22 boxes. So it's not like it's only five boxes and, you know, the odds are less. So that's a break that's kind of the only football break we can do today. I think Origins is only pre-orders for Wednesday or Friday, so. Do I kind of look like Dag? No way. I don't think I look like him. Maybe it's the shorter hair and maybe the beard a little bit, but no. I wish I looked like him, put it that way. I wish I had his physique. <laughs> Scratch off Joey Bottom. Oh, you know what? That's true. I'll say that. I'll take that as a compliment. Saying I look like a $40 million man, right? <laughs> I wish, right? Action, Clint Frazier. 708. Imagine, guys. I mean, obviously, all of us have different bank accounts, but I don't know if any of us have uh, 
$40 million bank account. But just imagine these guys that just... It's just it just amazes me how much money athletes can make, or just in general anybody, like how the, how much money there is in the world. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, they're, I, I'd, I'd, if I ever did that, Greg, man, I get so much backlash and so much heat. People would just be like mocking me. But yeah, I mean, going back to. Um, it's just crazy. Ozzy Alves, relic for the Braves. Like, just give me a milli. I'm okay with the milli. I'll use it very wisely. I don't know, maybe I can pass for like Dak's younger brother. Although I think I'm older than him. Or we're exactly the same age. The uglier, uh, bigger twin. Put it that way, right? Instead of, uh, my name could be Jason Prescott. You know what I mean? Aaron Judge for the Yankees. It's like, what happened to you, man? I, mean, I don't know, man. Just lost my ways. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, Cooper. Honestly, I don't, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that 30 for 30 on the Manning brothers. That Cooper Manning was pretty good wide receiver. I mean, I'm not saying he could have made it to the league and become a Hall of Famer like his brothers, but uh, he was a pretty good receiver. It's unfortunate he had that neck neck problems. Was forced to, uh, forced to fit, uh, not play football anymore. But watch his watch his kids be better or as good as Peyton and Eli though if they play football. You know? <laughs> you know that's usually how it works, right? Yeah, I mean he was he was a pretty good receiver like he I think you know went to Tennessee but as a freshman, I think he got injured or something. I forget what it was, but they found out he had something wrong in his neck, like a little syndrome or something. And he was just, if he could have taken one more hit, he could have been paralyzed, like, you know, for his whole, from his whole body or waist down or something. So, and I think he almost, like, died in surgery, too. Like, it was scary. I believe I think Manning Payton, I think Peyton was like I think three years younger than him so when Peyton was a freshman at that school he was at he was a starter so he got to play one year with his brother or sorry no he was his brother went to Ole Miss sorry and Payton I think Payton said in that interview that if his brother would have never gotten injured he probably would have went to Ole Miss just to experience playing with his older brother one more year. You know, he being a freshman and him being a senior. But I think once his brother couldn't play football no more and then all the scandals that were going to come out of Ole Miss, I believe they were going to get suspended from bowl games. I think ultimately he chose to go to Tennessee rather than staying, and staying where his dad went to his alma mater. So, which is crazy because I didn't know how much backlash he got. Death threats and all that to his dad saying, you know, how could you let your boy go to Tennessee and not go to Ole Miss, which everybody thought, you know, he'd be going to Ole Miss. 
But yeah, it was, it was pretty crazy. But Eli is actually the one that went to Ole Miss and uh, did pretty well there. Max Scherzer. Uh, the one of the one of the Mannings I feel for is Archie, his dad. He was so good in college. You know, obviously, I wasn't around, but seen stats, highlights, and stuff. But man, he just played for a very horrible Saints team. It's just like running for his life. Stack. And we got a Cody Bellinger jersey for the Dodgers, David Brooms. What is this? this hat so high. Matt Davidson. Someone almost doesn't take on the Reds, AJ. Jeez. All right, I gotta go through the checklist for you guys with the Reds. They can't be that bad of a team when they're when they're like a uh, good price team. Ian Kinsler. For Detroit. Or oh, sorry, for the Padres. And again, last spot mojo. Come on, man. You guys, that hits. 70% of 100% of the time. That's the way Joe says it. Black Border, David Hess. All right, let's look at this one really quick. Oh, Christian Yelich. There you go. That's pretty nice. All right. Two more boxes to go. That was a great card there at the end. Which one? What does that mean? Oh, wait, not this one. This is a now and then. Yeah, I think the gray ones... Yeah, I know that it's, I noticed the gray ones are usually the shorter prints, but looks like most of these are all now and thens. Again, I'll, I'll double check all these, so no worries, man. Alright. Last two boxes. Alright, so, so when I get finished with this, guys, I'm going to go through the orders really quick. I'm also going to send out eBay invoice orders. And um, then, if anything is sold out, we'll break that before eBay tonight.
All right, next box. Uh, not that I would know, Chad, but I'll I'll have a little hit recap uh, once I'm done with these last two boxes. Andrew Miller. It's just the regular one. Reese Hoskins, scratch on. Michael Chavez, rookie. Red Sox. And Justin Upton for the Angels Clubhouse Collection. Steven with that one. And there's Andrew McCutcheon action for the Phillies. I think it will bear, to be honest. Uh, I just I can't tell you when, but I think it can. I think if we can get that break to single digits, it, it, it could break tonight. Worst case scenario, man, tomorrow, but I feel like it's close enough where if we can get a couple people to just commit spots into that break, I think we can do it tonight. And we got a Fernando Tatis Jr. It's pretty nice. Padres. So yeah, guys, try to get into that football mix. Remember, we need that break to fill with the basketball and the jersey break. If you guys want to try to win three hundred dollars in break credit tonight. All right, last box of the break, guys. Good luck. Uh, yes, Joseph. If it has sold out gonna go through the orders to see who sold it out and then yeah we can do this early next What's up, George? What's going on, man? Oh. Alright, it's the last box of the break, guys. I'll have a little hit recap video at the end of the break. Like I said, I'm going to go through these cards a little bit later. If not, the uh, shipping team will go through it a little bit later. And if we find any short prints or anything like that, I'll make sure to uh, create a second video and show you guys. Any short prints that we found.
But I believe AJ got second to last spot Mojo and got the Yankees and Sterling. I believe all that's left is the Reds unless somebody sold it out. And then Sterling can come up next. Football Migs are two spots away from being into single digits. So we can do that after as well. Andrew McCutcheon. First break? Nice, man. Well, good luck. The first break mojo coming your way. Oh, someone got him? She got him? Nice. Sunny Gray. Yeah, George, site looks a little empty with a lot of new releases coming out this week. So I feel like a lot of people are just... We're kind of just preparing for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to be pretty big. But it doesn't mean we can't do any breaks on the website, though. There's still a couple of nice little breaks up on there. And maybe Nick tomorrow will post up some more as well. Stony Marte. I think Origins is going to be a huge hit. Immaculate Basketball is going to be huge. It's going to be a pretty crazy week. All right, last stack right here, guys. Good luck. Oh, and Rod Carew for the Minnesota Twins. Freddy with the twins. Action, Kikuchi. Five twenty six. Oh, you have the twins flip coin? Nice. Oh, uh, it doesn't look numbered, honestly. Not that I see, but very nice. Did you really? If I was even on the wheel last night? Man, we well, hope everything's all right. It's just a shredded tire. All right, last little one right here. We have for the Expos, Steve Ranko. That'll be going to the Washington Nationals. And there you go, everybody. That was the break. So, again, I'll go through all the big... I'll go through all the cards later with the shipping team. But these were all the little buybacks, the action short prints, the autographs, of course, some scratch-offs, some of the chrome feels. We got a lot of actions right here. There's one Andrew McCutcheon, a little relic Justin Upton, some scratch-offs, and some black borders, it looks like. Bellinger Relic. Action. Frazier. Machado. Jimenez Action. Action Ichiro. And we had one of these boxes that had a lot of these colors, so just put them on pendencies right there. Action Walker. Mets, Pilots, Jimenez, 
Verdugo action. Willie Adams. Meadows action. Brandon Belts. Bob Gibson auto. Ichiro short print. There he is again. Here he is. Action. Corbin. Verdugo. I don't know if I went through this one yet, but there you go. Nice one for the uh, Reds to 70. And yeah, there you go. And that was the break. So, again, if I did miss any short prints while I look through the stuff a little bit later when I have some free time or the shipping team does, I'll make sure to uh, record a separate video and show you guys what else we found before we ship it out. But we'll make sure that everything gets delivered to the right customer. And of course, penny to the top load the right hits. Appreciate it. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.